Hey collective, it's me, here to do an energy read. Look, as soon as I get started here, this one starts, right? Let me tell you something, right? <laughs> Happy Saturday, y'all. Today is September 7th. Okay. Hope all is well. I had a, I had quite the morning. I had quite the morning. And I'm going to share it with you guys, right? Because I know that it'll help somebody else. You know what I mean? I had a trigger this morning, for real, for real. So let me just go through this real quick, and then we're going to get some cards, okay? Um, so the cat. You know, I got a kid. He's 11 weeks, 10 weeks old, okay? Yeah, you want me talking about your little fat man? Anyway, so it's not potty trained. I assume by the time I got it, you know, it was going to be able to do that. But no, I am talking about you. Anyway, so I've been watching him. I've been Googling stuff and trying to figure out how to get it to be potty trained. And, and you know, it's like put the bucket everywhere you see him trying to go because I don't had to snatch him up a couple of times. Right. And did, I'm talking about listen. Anyhow, so she pooped him on my rug this morning. Right next to the box. I was so angry. I screamed at her. She went running into under my bed, right? So I, I cleaned it up, shampooed the rug and all that stuff. So I figured out some little tricks, put some eucalyptus oil on the rug. She ain't been in this motherfucker since. <laughs> but anyway, he, damn. Anyway, so when I was looking for him, you know, about an hour or so later after I done calmed down and cleaned up the mess, you know what I mean? I went to look for, let me tell you something. Let me tell you when I went to look for the cat, I'm looking all in the bed. I look up and the cat is sitting at my altar in front of the Bible and my grandmother's picture. I said, look at this shit here. I said, you went running to God. <laughs> you went running. Like, God, please don't let this woman lose her mind over here. Right? And immediately it triggered me because it was like I used to run to my grandmother when my mother was whooping me. I used to run to my grandmother. And he ran right in there. You know what I'm saying? And the other piece was, right? I had to remember that it's a baby. It's a child, right? In a sense. Right? And it's going to have access until it learns. And they, and even on Google it says like up to six months. I'm like, what did I get myself into? But here's the hit. I remember when I was a child, I used to pee on myself all the time. I used to pee to bed. Even to like, well, like nine or ten when I used to go outside, I used to pee on myself outside. I did. And then I was sitting there thinking and I was like, wow. You know, I used to pee on myself, and I used to get a whooping all the time. And I'm like, and that's what I'm doing to the cat, right? Peep that shit. I'm getting upset with the cat because he's having an accident. I really don't know what the environment was where, where this cat's coming from, you know what I'm saying? But it threw me into a remember of when I used to get a whooping. And then, you know where else it sent me? They sent me further back, right? Why was I peeing? Why was I peeing on myself? If anybody know about um, sexual abuse as a child, that's the, that's one of the signs of, of sexual abuse as a child peeing in the bed or pissing, you know, on themselves like that can't hold their, their bladder. All right. That's what it sent me. And I sat down and I had to cry and I had to really look at how when it happened to me, the, what I had to go through, I'm seeing it in the fucking cat. The cat triggered me to take a look at my own unhealed wounds see these are the things I couldn't remember these are the things that weren't that I kind of blocked out right but it's coming up I was traumatized I used to pee on myself all the time outside old enough to know better but could never when didn't want to go back in the house and go to the bathroom I wouldn't come on spirit let's get a message hang on y'all Hey, sorry about that. But I also learned when he's whining like that, he got to go to the bathroom. So I had to go, guide him right back over to the pot, to the bucket. Anyway, and I got him a little bell. So if you hear the little bell ringing, I'm <laughs> running through the house. <laughs> anyway, come on, let's get going. Yeah. So peep that, right? Whew. 
Wow. That really that really had me, you know, in my feelings this morning, right? But it was it was as if my grandmother was was showing me don't be mean, don't be upset with the cat. You only behaving like that because that's what happened to you. Right? Cuz I prayed this morning, right? Before all of this happened, I prayed this morning and I said, "God, you know, the cat getting on my nerves already." Right? I said, "God, please help me, you know, to you know, be okay with the cat and and try to have patience with the with it, right? Because I'm not the cleanest person in the world, but I'm clean. I don't like my house to smell. I don't like my house to be dirty. I don't like clutter. Even though it gets like that from time to time. But that's because I get a little lazy sometimes. But I'm, I'm a cleaner. I like to clean. You know what I'm saying? I like to live in clean. I like to smell good. Period. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. But that's, you know, that... I prayed about it this morning. I said, because I don't, I don't want to allow my, my own issues, right? My own impatience to... You know, quit because it's a little difficult. I didn't realize I was gonna have to potty train a damn cat, but I knew I didn't want an older cat because I wanted a cat to get to know me, right? So, anyway, it's, it's a lesson, right? And this is like a test for me. It's a test of patience, willingness to try to teach the cat, not be mean to the cat, understand that the cat could have come from trauma. And listen, he don't left his mama, right? Look, we can apply this. I'm applying it to my life. Right? Man, listen. Ain't nothing by coincidence. Understand that. Nothing. Even fat man being in my life is not by coincidence. It is not. Okay? And it was so funny. Look, triumph. I can't make it up. Look at that. Yes. Victory. Yes. Overcoming them obstacles. Transformation. Recognizing and understanding where your pain is coming from, where your anger coming from, right? Teaching me patience, and I show sure ask God, don't give me nothing hard now. But it, but it, you know, normally I don't catch it. You know, normally I'm I'm I'm, I'm stubborn. But this time, when that cat was sitting in front of my Bible, nigga, he was just sitting there, looking. And I looked over, there go the Bible, and there go my grandmother behind it. I said, look at this shit here. He done ran in there to God. He was like, ah, oh, God, don't let this woman take her shit out on me. My grandmother's like, ah, oh, baby, you ain't going to be hitting on this baby. That's what she used to do with me. Tell my mother, my mother got a whooping uh, when she was grown because she was fucking with me. My grandmother whooped her ass in front of me. I, ain't, I would not lie to you. I seen it with my own eyes. She was mean to me. You know, I understand, you know, I get we all got some childhood issues. I, You know, that's that's where the grace comes in. That's where the mercy comes in, right? Understanding, right? Having empathy. But the reality is she was mean to me. You know, and there's some things that I had to endure. And now I'm starting to put the pieces together. Now I know why I was always pissing on myself. Because I've learned some stuff about abuse. And the and the behaviors, especially in children, right? Mm, come on, spirit. Mm. What's this message? Fertility. Mm. Growth. Expansion. Wisdom. Um, mm, something start with an E. I'm picking up three, the third house. What's the third house spirit? Turn my little card around. Sharing your environment. Um, how you treat people. You know what I mean? That kind of things. You know, um, your heart chakra energy. How you give. How you communicate. You're very fertile energy. You're very fruitful energy it's like you you it's like you nurture a garden you know that's the kind of energy i pick up you're like a fertilizer to the gardens come on spirit yes you give life that's what i was trying to hear you give life seven and three is ten that's completion that's a that's a um cycle complete a lesson learned you're victorious whatever it was that you were supposed to to click 
that peace, you found it. Like I found that peace, that connection, right? I found that today. And it was through my cat and my faith, right? Because I could see and I can hear and I saw myself in an animal. I felt like a fucking animal. Didn't know I didn't belong. Who, you know, I didn't look like them first and foremost because I was a dark one. You know, my older siblings who, who are gone, God rest their souls, they were darker, but they didn't live in the home with us. Mm, come on, spirit. Triumph of fertility. I don't know why I'm telling y'all all my business, but I guess it is what it is. What's the spirit? Dis discontentment and boredom. Four. This could be with your family, with the way things are. Yeah, this is about like enough is enough, right? No longer accepting um, the status quo, how, how people think you should act or how you should be. Hmm, I'm picking up like loneliness, isolation. It also could be a sign for it's time for you to come out of your shell. Oh, yeah, look at that. Suffering in silence. Absolutely. That's what I felt. That's exactly what I felt. But you're going through a transformation. It's like this is this is a, a journey you had to take on your own. Because, see, spirit wanted you to reach deep inside. They, spirit wanted to change you from the inside out. There's a healing that's going on in your life, in you. And by the grace of God, right, it's showing up, but it ain't showing up in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? It, your, your awareness is, is like on point. You see it immediately. Pooh, thank you, right? You see, you see your shortcomings. You see your um your um insecurities. You see your trauma. You see it in your behavior. Come on now, ain't that a blessing? Because when you know, you know, and then you can change it. Once you know what it is, you can change it, right? You have to identify it first. Come on, spirit. Recognition and reward. The universe is rewarding you. Uh, they recognize you for your hard work, for your obedience, for your willingness, for your faith, for your humbleness. The universe sees you. Come on, spirit. They see you from the inside out. They know what makes you tick, right? The universe, that's energy. That's universe. That's the whole entire galaxy. That's where we're all from, right? We're all a part of it. It's in us. Yeah, I heard somebody say stardust. Come on now. They see you overcoming your obstacles, your challenges, your hate, your... Yo, I was spending ready to say pain, but some said hate. There's some kind. There's a, some hate, maybe, or maybe the hate is towards you. I don't know. You overcame it though. Mm. Somebody's doing some root work, right? I know I am, and I ain't talking about that. That poison is that evil shit. I'm talking about light work. In the light, spirit. What's the message? Listen, solar plexus. What you do? You're being recognized for that, for how you, for how you, what you do, how you communicate, how you um, find empathy, how you find compassion, how you give, how you share. Come on, we said that the fourth house, right? Ain't it the fourth house? No, the third house. Sharing your resources, your support. You give. You'll give your last so that somebody else could be lifted up. Come on, spirit. Somebody could be in some kind of mental conflict. Could have been you. You know. What's the second house? Your values. How you feel inside about the world, about humanity, about yourself. And what you see in the world is, is like a mental conflict, right? What's happening? Why is this like this? It's not supposed to be like this, right? 
That that could be also a part of your conflict, your um, contentment and boredom. That's why you're in isolation and silence, suffering, healing, asking God, why is it like this? Why does it have to be like this? Why do I have to go through this in order to learn the lesson? What are you trying to show me? What are you trying to teach me? What do you want me to see about me? Right? Come on, spirit. Look, foundations and achievements. I can't make it up. Yes, sir. That wish fulfillment, that happiness, that peace, that joy, that togetherness, that cohesion, that loyalty, that the de that that dependence, and I'm not talking about the codependent kind, I'm talking about the kind where you don't wake up in fear, wondering if somebody's gonna run off and leave you, or does somebody really care about you? You know what I'm saying? No, we talking about understanding and being at peace and at ease, not even worrying about it. Allowing things to flow. Trusting. Right? Because you're trusting in your choices today. Come on, Spirit. What we got here? Patience and planning. Going through the seasons. Learning the lessons. The transformations. Right? Mm-hmm. You did that. Yes, you did. Listen. Conflict and defeat. You realize you had to make some changes in your life. The way things were going. The way things were working out. It wasn't. It was going against everything that you felt. Your soul. You know, you try to do it in the superficial way. The, the 3D way, right? The 3D way is what caused your shift. The 3D way is what caused your transformation. It pushed you. It pushed you into the solitude. It pushed you into the healing and the transformation. And wanting to, to do better. To be better. So that you can give better. Come on now. And realizing and recognizing you were going in the wrong direction. The direction you were going in was never going to bring you that peace and that healing you were looking for. That's exactly what brought you the trauma in the first place. This is, your past is exactly what pushed you into your present and, and, and is going to push you into your future. You'll never have to experience that again because you're, you're addressing it right now. You're being made to address it. And you know why you're getting the downloads. You know why this is coming to you like this. It's because you're willing. When the student's ready, the teacher will appear. Come on, Spirit, what's the message? Solar plexus chakra, that's what I said. Your sacral and your solar, how you feel and what you do. Standing in your truth. Not allowing what has happened to you, right, to dictate how you behave in the present and, and going forward, right? God cleaning all that shit out. Anything lingering, it's got to go. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening with me. Anything lingering, anything that I couldn't face as when I was un, unawakened, now that I'm woken and and. And prepared, because that's all my journey has been about preparing me for my truth. What I have suppressed, what I have put in the back of my mind, because I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to face it. My 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 spiritual health was too weak. I wouldn't have made it. It would have hurt too much. It would have traumatized me again. But see, now spirit feels like I'm ready to see it, because I've seen it today. He says she's ready to see. To remember. And with that comes more understanding. Better empathy for me. And it, and it allows me to help others. Right? Understand. Not that I'm a sucker or I'm naive. Don't get it twisted. But I'm compassionate. I know what the fuck it feels like. And it hurts. And when I see it in another human being, it breaks my fucking heart. I don't care. Even if it's my enemy that did it to me. You hear me? God built me to get through it. But though, there's a lot of people that they ain't built for that shit. Prosperity begins. Right. The healing, right? The planting of new seeds, positive seeds. Um... 
uh, um, planting seeds with love and compassion is what I'm trying to say. But there was another word I was looking for. Fucking mouse died. <laughs> That's how I felt. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Spirit, what's this message? <laughs> Let choose wisely. Choose the right path, right? Choose the path for you. Okay, you've done it. You've done it everybody else's way, right? You've done it the way you thought you should do it as well, right? Listen, because this is what the universe wants to offer you. Love. They want to pour it out to you, but you got to be able to receive it. Because when they pour it out to you, they expect you to pour it out to others. Peep that. And they know who you are, so they trust you with this. They just want you to, to be in a healthy position to receive it, right? Don't get all this love and this, these blessings and you still got some anger that you ain't even addressed because you, you didn't recognize it. I recognize some shit today, right? I remember. And then I had to feel sad, right, because... To have that happen to a child to be treated like a grown woman, that shit ain't right, right? And the side effects that I had to deal with, the trauma, the mind fuck, and then the physical shit, like pissing on myself all the time. Come on, I know somebody's triggered and I don't mean to trigger you because I can feel it, right? But I'm just saying, I had to sit with that shit today myself, alright? That was earlier. And I had to forgive myself. I asked God to forgive me for even being mean to the cat because it's a baby. It don't know no better. I'm grateful that I got through it. I could hold on to that shit and be angry and miserable for the rest of my life, right? But for what? Then I lose out. Right? They tried to take my innocence. They did take my innocence, but they couldn't take my compassion. They couldn't take the love that God put in my heart. They couldn't take that from me. Because God always whispers in my ear, baby, you're going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. And I'm okay. What's this message? Thirteen transformation. There it is. Yes, it's time to come out of that, to go into that caterpillar, to allow that shit to be dissolved in your spirit, and let God mold you. Let God take that nastiness, that ugliness, and let Him make something beautiful out of it. You hear me? What else, Spirit? Base chakra, that fucking root work, man. You are not who they try to make you be. You are not how they treated you. Excuse me. Ooh. You are not. You're a beautiful soul and you keep that. Don't ever give it up. Because that's all the enemy wants is to take away your spirit. That's what it's all about. It's about the enemy. Listen. It's the enemy. And you know the enemy works through people, baby. Don't forget that shit. Don't ever think that the enemy's outside of you. He is not. He's in each and every one of us. If we allow him to use us. Rebuke the devil and he will flee from you. He ain't got no choice. Oh, that's too many. Can I get one more please? I'm sorry about that, y'all, but you know, it is what it is. We real transparent on this page, over here on this channel. This is a transformation channel, a healing channel. 
Even though there's bullshit in it a lot because look, we go through that shit every day. Alright? But in the midst of all that, we can still rise from the bullshit. And that's my sole purpose. So. Trapped in fear. It's to release that fear. Somebody could feel trapped about choices, wanting to make the right choice, not wanting to. Somebody could really be conflicted. Yeah, they third eye. Alright? This is about your intuition. Okay? Your knowledge. The downloads that you get. Yeah, yeah. It could be some emotional loss as well. Okay? Of course, we have to go through those different stages of grief. You know, and hurt, and pain, and resentment, and anger. Right? Because it can certainly make you look at somebody different. Right? But but spirit is calling on me and you to have compassion, right? Not to let it hold you hostage. And and you know, it happened. It is what it is. But I ca I cannot re reiterate this more enough. I survived. I didn't let it keep me in my addiction. You hear me? I didn't let it keep me in misery and depression. I, I didn't let it. You understand? Which is the sole purpose is to keep you trapped in your emotions. You know? In fear. And in the way people made you feel that you were. And, and it, was, it was fake. It was a lie. They were projecting their energy, their pain, their hurt, their insecurities. There's low self-esteem. They was they was direct. They was projecting that shit onto you every time they hurt you. Tell the truth and shame the devil. And you want to be angry, but God won't allow that. Because if you get angry, then that festers in your heart. And ah, 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 that ain't what it's for. Spirit ain't gonna let them take your soul. You hear me? Spirit, what's the message? Hmm. Spiritual union. Some of you guys could be coming into a spiritual union. You deserve it. You deserve a union with someone that really and genuinely cares about you. Listen, your crown shock was on fire. Intuition. Your your connection to the universe. Right? Come on now. What we got here? Listen. Integrating the shadow and the light side. Accepting it. Right? Accepting it, recognizing it, respecting it. Whatever whatever um walls you built around your trauma, right? Whatever things you used to cope with that, it, it was it worked right for a little while until it didn't anymore. And that's when you have to say thank you for your service, right? For getting me here. But I don't need you no more. Because I'm healing from this. I don't need the, the crutches no more. I don't need the coat, you know, the, to have this attachment no more to get through that pain because you integrated it. You accepted it. Y'all you looked it in the eye and said, listen, I yeah, it did hurt. And thank you for protecting me in whatever way you did, right? And I'll keep you around so that you can recognize those red flags and you can remind me of, of the past when I'm walking into danger again. But otherwise, walk by me. Walk by my side. Create balance. Come on now. Accepting it and respecting it. Because what literally, right, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If you're willing to accept it and, and do that healing work, that suffering in silence, so you can get to know you and recognize your shit from somebody else's. Spirit, what's this message? Listen to this, listen to this. God said, absolutely fucking not. I'm the authority here over all. Come on now. Shot, please. Listen. 
That's right. Keep moving on into the light. There it is. That's like the Six of Swords energy. Moving on to calmer waters. Absolutely. It's a new season. It's a new time. It's a new timeline. When you get here, that means you're walking into a whole new timeline. New everything. New everything. New everything. Universe said the new everything. What's all this back here? Four and the six. Listen. Rest and rejuvenate. You can rest and rejuvenate now. You got victory. You got victory. And success. You climb the mountain. The trumpet is blowing. Judgment's here. All right, y'all. Uh-uh. Granny on say something. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Where you at? Oh, my God. There they go. Got to get one of those. Got to get some wisdom from the ancestors, baby. For those that give us that, that information that help us, right, to see through the BS, even our own. Come on now. And that's what an ancestor will do for you. If they feel like you deserve to, to help, right? But if you're out here messing up, messing up other people's shit, man, listen. It ain't going to be the ancestors you're looking for. <laughs> I'm just saying, actually, yeah, I'm going to just say my ancestors, my granny helped me out today. She helped shine a light. Listen, nothing but a fit, nothing beats a failure but a try. Mm-hmm. Fit to a D, for a to a, fit to a T, exact. That's right. Completely accurate and precise. <laughs> Come on, granny, give us one, one for the road. What's the message? Okay, get one for the Rose Spirit, please, and thank you. Spirit, what's the message? Okay. Check your tone. Calm down. How you say something or deliver a message can be interpreted as aggressive and may not be received well. Okay. It's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? All right, Granny, what's this about? Hi, okay. <laughs> oh, if I what I said, if I offended anybody, I'm sorry. All right, what else, Spirit? Can I get one more? <laughs> what we got here? Mess around and find out. Test. Mm -mm -mm. Some situations re will require you to respond. Stand on business and be firm with your boundaries. Mm. Okay, give me another one. What's going on here? I don't know why I heard, I said, I was about to say auntie. I don't know who auntie is. Ooh. I was going to say, what's going on here, auntie? Yeah, so somebody's auntie could be in the, in the energy. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Mmm. Validity. Sometimes it is hard to distinguish between what's fake and what's real. Test to prove authenticity. Mmm. Test to prove authenticity. Huh. Maybe some of y'all gonna be try to, somebody gonna try to test you to test your authenticity. <laughs> Spirit was his message. Ooh -wee. What we got here? Don't let any grass grow under your feet. Explore. Okay. Act on your plans without any delay. Oh, and God looks out for babies and fools. You covet. God protects all of us, particularly the children and those who may not be so wise. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Come on, spirit. Courageousness. Always prioritize honesty and integrity, even if it leads to negative consequences. Wow. All right, y'all. I'm done with it. That was a very healing message for me. I don't know about y'all. I know it. Yeah, I hope so. I pray so, right? Because that's what the purpose is, right? Of me telling y'all my business. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good Saturday. I'll see you. This is.